Hi, and welcome back to Riverbanks and Flow. The next few weeks, we're going to talk about something really important, really exciting, something I love talking about, and that is how to promote your work, how to get your name out there, how to sell your programs. If you're having a challenge with this or if you're worried about it for the future, um, hang in with me for the next few weeks because I really do love it. And it's not as scary as you think it is. And one of the things we're gonna be doing is kind of dissolving some of those funny beliefs that keep you holding back. And I've been working with women for a while on launching their programs. So I think I have an insight into a few of those things that are worrying you. Now, one of the things I wanna talk about today that's really important is your email list, a list of clients the number of people that you regularly talk to. Everybody hears this idea that um, you need a big old email, email list before you launch. And I don't teach it that way. I teach that you create a beautiful container. Yes, there's an email service provider ready and waiting to invite new people in. There might be a beautiful Dharma gift or what most people call a lead magnet. But what is this list really? This list is people that know about you and care about your work and they're interested in hearing more about you. So here's the tip, here's the trick. The most powerful way to build your list is to launch your program. So don't get it backwards. You don't need a list before you launch create this beautiful jewel, this radiant thing, this thing that's, you know, deep in your heart, and you'll be sending out, you know, rays of desire and, and energy and radiance everywhere, and people will come. They really will. And, and we're going to do the riverbanks too. We'll talk about how to use Facebook ads, for example. But I just want you to let go of this idea that you need something special as far as the number of people on your list. So when I first started out, my very first program was called Elegant Online Courses, and it's a version of what I now teach, Elegant Online Programs, it's a little broader, but it's how to take your first um, little uh, piece of um, your work, your expertise, and put it online. And so five years ago when I first started, I had 20 people on my list. I might be exaggerating, it might not have been that many. And a couple of those were like my mom. <laughs> so I just created um, a beautiful event, which is what we do when we uh, market. We don't do a lot of salesy stuff. We just create an event. We create a challenge or a mini course, or what I love to do is create a series of videos that people can watch to get to know me to learn about my work and to find out why they would want to join the bigger program. So that seems pretty easeful, doesn't it? And I'll tell you, by the end of that first year, when I launched a couple of times, I had 400 people on my list and it was a strong list. It was people who knew what I was doing and signed up just for that purpose. So I don't think it grew much over the next couple of years and I made $40,000 just selling to that list. Now I have more people on my list now, but it's just grown naturally. I don't, I don't fuss over the numbers. I don't work super hard to grow the numbers. What I do do is I keep creating programs that people want and I keep getting my name out there and my work out there. So I want you to take a deep breath and realize you don't have to build a big old list and you don't have to be pushy and salesy. We're going to talk about more about what you can do so that those things can just fall away next time. And let's talk about Facebook ads and what it is to sell in a feminine way. Next time, I'll talk about both of those things. But in the meantime, have a great week and just breathe easy knowing that you don't have to build a big old list. And don't forget, if you want to get notified next time I publish one of these videos, put your name and email in below.